We were talking about, you know, we're doing our Grammy show this year. Mm hmm so Gary's like, you know, Wolf, uh, it's very weird schedule, very upsetting. It's very weird the way it works out. Well, we're only doing three days from the uh, Grammys, and then we don't get the day off. And it's, uh, and it's like, you know, he's complaining about it. it's just not the it's, it's not the same as previous years. He's not getting uh, a day off or something like that. And, you know, and he's and he's directing it toward Jackie. He wants Jackie to start complaining. Like, like you know, it's just like Gary, get out of here, get out. I don't even understand what he's complaining about. He's complaining that it wasn't like last year. Last year we had an extra day off when we did the Grammys or something. Oh. I mean, he's, 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 like, he's the keeper of the gate. So every year he should get that day off now. Right. That's in his schedule. Yeah, yeah. Off. Yeah, it's very weird, Wolf. It's a beautiful it's a morning. You didn't tell oh, me he Richard was coming Simmons. in. I told you we haven't guessed. Hey, who's now this Now he guy? has no pants on at all. Just from... I don't have a thing on. Oh. Not what. Oh. It's a beautiful oh. What's going on, Gary? Good morning. You know why it's so beautiful, Howard? Why? Because you know, we have a date today. What is? What kind of shorts are you wearing? I tell you, there's no underwear on at all today. We're gonna Get go away from me. We're gonna go see Prince of Tides. Get off of me. We're going to. We're going to have a little lunch. <laughs> laugh no, about it. Stink. And then we're going oh. shopping. Smell. Shopping. Oh, smell shopping. like a woman. We're Get going, away from me. We're going. <laughs> did you say you were going to spend? <laughs> what was that you said? <laughs> and then we're going to go to Henry Bendel's for a little while. You hurt me. Get off. Stop. Get off Did me. Did you say and you were spending the entire Goodman day with him? No. Just sit down in your chair. Sit down or I'm going to break your arm. <laughs> sit down or I'm going to break your arm off. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. No. Come here. Get away from me. Howard, come here. Put your pants on. Sounds Howard, like Super Bowl here. party come again. Come here for a second. Just stand up Wait, for a second, please. Lay down on the floor. I'm going to rub you down. Oh. Lay down on the floor. I'm going to rub you no, down. Come here. Rub no, you down. don't touch me like that. Come here. Come here. Stop. It's a love fest, folks. Oh. Sit down. Hi, Robin. Good morning. That's Richard's driver, by the way. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. You met him before. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean... Fresh orange juice, Robin? No, thank you, dear. Were you at Quick Check? Is that true? Yeah, we went to Quick Check. Isn't that great? It is so easy. It's clean. I'm looking at Service this shirt. Is good. Of his. Did you play with Barbies during the Super Bowl halftime, Richard? <laughs> Look at his shirt. Did you? Did you play with your Barbies? Richard is wearing a pink musical note shirt. <laughs> this is my outfit from Sweat into the Oldies 4. Is that what you wear? Sequence. You wear that hey, in your video? Hey, hey. I start with Listen, shout and Richard. A, a gospel choir and a 15-piece and a band. Oh, I can't wait for you to see it. Richard, you wore that on Sweat into the Oldies? That yeah, pink shirt the... with musical notes and sequins? Boy, is that gorgeous. <laughs> wow. I'm so jealous. That's terrible, Howard. Isn't that marvelous? I mean, that's terrible. This is a cute And what is those, short shorts? No, same shorts that you've always seen here, sweetie. Those are hot pants. I don't think you've washed it since uh, Sweat into the Oldies. His whole shirt stinks really? and it's heavily perfumed. I have no, you know what? Oh. You're gonna don't say you have no fragrance on. Howard. I don't have any perfume on this morning. Then you must have drunk it, Richard. It's coming through your skin now. Yeah, I, but I had none on. <laughs> no, really. What kind of fragrance is no, that? No, I have really nothing on. Richard, no. to be I serious. I exercised this morning, so you're just smelling mad. Or what Mame, kind of, I don't know. Mame, I'm smelling Mame. <laughs> oh, did he say I'm smelling Mame? I, mean, I think that's Here's what he was napkins. going for. Look at Richard eating cream cheese. I'm I not know. eating. First of all, I'm eating nothing. You know, Richard, really, for the amount of, time, amount of exercise you do, you are still kind of chubby. You know what I'm saying? Howard, why do you want to start like this? I'm the same weight I have been for. I don't mean I don't mean any offense by well, it. You know, I'm an ex-fatty. I'm not a big but, jock. I don't have any trophies on my TV set. I don't watch. It's just the that Super if I Bowl. had that many hours to exercise, I exercise I think I'd be, an hour. That, why are you picking on? I'd me? look better you than that. You picked on Glory Estevan. You picked on Harry Connick Jr. Oh, you picked man. on Gary. I guess it's my time. <laughs> do you stink? I have nothing on, and you What is know your it. fragrance? What I is the fragrance? On. I Admit have a lot your fragrance. Here, but I have nothing on. You're wearing a fragrance. I am not wearing a Why would a you fragrance? lie about that? I'm not. It could be my hairspray. Uh, uh, Did you watch the Super Bowl uh, yesterday? Uh, ba, ba. Fresh fruit. <laughs> Fresh fruit. <laughs> he brings a fruit basket out of you know, a bag. You know, this nice letter. From Gary gets a call from Richard last night. Oh, I don't, and, and he goes Howard. to Gary. Gary. Howard. We have a date today. You're supposed to take me to dinner. Ha Let's go to dinner today. He told you this? Yeah. He told so you Richard, this? So Richard, yeah, of course. He, Gary told yes. you this? Yes, yes. Oh, was it a secret? So Richard no, goes. No, he asked so Gary me out goes, for dinner. You no, know, he asked Richard out for dinner. dinner he had, I didn't Richard, ask Gary Richard, I can't dinner. get a word out. He asked me. Then get the story straight. Gary asked Richard out for dinner. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and Richard had to cancel No, I did not Saturday have to cancel. Night. 
for sa- I didn't have to cancel. I wasn't coming into town. Right. He wasn't available. So Richard says, how about Sunday night? No, I didn't say that. So Gary Howard, goes, I, I have that. plans on Sunday night. And Richard goes, what plans do you have? Gary goes, well, it's Super Bowl Sunday. You know, I kind of have. And he goes, Super Bowl Sunday? No. H- you Howard. would rather watch a stupid game than Howard. be with me? Moi? Ha- Don't act like this Howard. didn't happen. You know what, Howard? Why do you lie? Why do you talk to me so nice when you're at your home? I talk to you nice now. No, 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 no. I'm relaying a story to Robin. I don't have any perfume. I'm relating a story to Robin. Go on with the conversation. So no, wait a minute. Richard Robin's was not even aware that there was a Super Bowl yesterday. Because, no, you know, he I was upset that he would not. I said, where are you going? He said, a bunch of us usually rent a hotel room mm-hmm. and we watch the Super Bowl. Well, I thought that was a sweet idea. Right. You know. You wanted to go? When I do my Barbie parties. Right. You know, I'll rent a convention area. What did you do yesterday? When this, what were you doing last night? Seriously. What did I do last yeah. night? Yeah. I'm going to try and have a nice conversation. What I did you do? I called about... Um, but 65 people. Uh, this is real serious. Overweight, you know, yeah, this is very serious. Like yes. I called 65, 65 people, people, and they're all formally overweight. And I exercised them. <laughs> I'm not gonna and they were it. all very fat. I, I'm not going to take it. And again. now they're Howard, very thin. Just tell me where you, you want me to meet. You called 65 people? Just tell me where you want me to meet Listen, you for the movie. I want to tell you something. Leave. I'm going to tell you, you something. Talk, then you let me, let me be honest with you. Can I be totally honest with you? Can I be totally honest with you? First of all, I think it's time for new hair transplants. Some of them are falling out on top, I see. <laughs> Look, do you see what I'm talking about, Robin? Is he thinning out on top? I have no idea, Howard. <laughs> Howard, now that's it. It that's is. It. I'm look, being honest. Look, maybe, you are thinning on top. I, maybe you have a greater friendship look, with maybe, him than I do, you and you could be that today. brutally honest. I'm not in a bad mood. I'm I so happy you're in. here. I was so, if, if you're happy to be here, and you're happy that I'm here, <laughs> I, am. I can't believe why you're talking to me this way. You've talked about that I'm chubby. You've made no, fun I'm of my No, I'm saying hair. you're not chubby, you but you should be in better shape. You're now talking about a personal story about Gary. I don't know if your workout I don't know if your workout is good. Why do you want... How do you work out? Tell Tell me me how you work out. Just tell me what theater you want me to meet you at. Well, that's the problem I'm having. I have a problem that came up, and I hope you're going to be sympathetic to it. Something came up. Now, would you listen to me in a rational way? No, no, no. I'm not saying I won't meet you. Richard, you're not listening. If you're not going to listen, then that's wrong. Now you, now you're hear being him me. out at least before you get into a snit, Robin. I don't need to hear from you no, no thank you note for Christmas present. I mean, what? Because I don't do magical tricks, I don't get a thank you note. Richard, my mother is in the hospital, and I need to go visit her today. So I cannot go to the movies with you. Then I'll go to the hospital with you. Fine, but I Your can't go to the, the hospital. Movie. Yeah. What's wrong? Um, she has a broken leg. A broken leg. Yes. No. How did she? How did? Did you trip her? No. She fell down a flight of steps. No, she didn't. Yes, and she couldn't get up. No, you're making. No, this I'm being up. serious. Robin. Right, Robin. You know it. I told Robin this Rob- morning. Oh, I was like, going I to the hospital Robin. with him. What? I was Robin going to the hospital with, with him. So what time? What shall I wear? No, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go see Prince of Tides today. I know I was supposed to take you, but it would really pain me if you didn't get to see this movie. And while I'm in the hospital visiting my mother, I want to know that somewhere you are enjoying Barbara Streisand. I want to go to the hospital. I don't know if it's appropriate at this point to bring you. I don't know if she can handle all the excitement with her heart. Well, it's not like she has a broken heart. She has well, a no, broken no, no. leg. She also had a, she had a heart attack last night. Oh, she No, did no, she not. really did. Oh, I can't the, believe oh, Richard. Right, I didn't laughing. want to get Alice on the air. I want to know when her leg. I when to her talk leg, to Allison. No, Allison's Ca- at home. She's at the hospital right now. I, when the leg, when the leg broke. You're just making this up because you don't no. want to go to the movies with me. You, I came in here. You, you, no, you, when her leg broke, she done, went into cardiac arrest. Oh, it was a very subtle heart attack. Is me. I can't believe he's being this unsympathetic. I know. He's just being obnoxious. All right, forget it. All right, I'll go to the movies with you. I won't go visit. Yeah, my he'll mother. forget his mother. Okay. Who's paying for it? The movies. <laughs> Listen, Richard, I cannot go to the movies with you today. In all good conscience, it would not be right. Why? Because of what's happened. What's happened? Your mother broke her leg. Yeah. I'll go see her. Well, I didn't ask you to come to. You the know hospital. what I'll do? I'll even. Here's what I'll do. Mm-hmm. I'll get a paramedics truck. I'll put your mother in it. We'll drive to the theater, Look, and she can see it with I'm us. not going to see Prince of Tides. You might as well just get your heart set on uh, doing something else. I'm not going to Prince of Tides. Then why did you ask me in today? Why did you have me come in as a guest today? I didn't ask I mean, you to come yes, in. Yes, you have. Yes, you did. Gary called me. He did? Well, I didn't uh, approve that. 
I'm happy to have you here. You know I'd have you on every day, but I, I just have no idea what you're talking about. I know you want to see Prince of Tides with me. I can't believe it. I don't want to go. I, I hate the movie. I hate Barbara Streisand. You promised me I you hate would Nick go. Nolte. I got a TV meeting today. I can't go on a Monday. Your mother has a broken leg, or did you make that up? Robin, I have a TV meeting today. I know that you have a TV meeting. It's just amazing that your mother you broke her leg TV? I and had a TV you somewhere. meeting all in the same day. I want to take. Why you won't you go with me? To why the, won't you go with me to the TV meeting? Why? Because I asked you to go to Prince of Tides, and you said yes, and I haven't. I seen lied. It. I lied. I'm not going with you. I can't sit next to you at the Prince of Tides and say that I'm enjoying myself. He's lying, too. He's seen the movie. He's seen the I movie, too. I have not seen the You're movie. You're a liar. You've seen the movie. Swear you know to God. You were in the line first day. I swear on your mother's I knew, life. I knew. Swear on your mother's life. I that you swear have... on my mother's life. What? That I did not see Prince of Tides. Would you come down? You sound like a hysterical woman. No, but it's true. I didn't see it because you told me. So you, you want were me to go me. see? You want me to go see the stupid movie with you? Why did you? Why do you talk to me at your home? You're in impossible. One way? I don't want to be at the movies with you. You cried during the coming attractions. I don't want to be around <laughs> a man like you with a movie. I've seen this movie. I had to go with my wife. I'm a married man. Something you don't seem to understand. That when you're married, you got to go see this stuff with your wife. And I went and saw this movie. It's a horrible movie. The, the thought of me wasting two hours sitting there at the print. I'll go with you. Okay. I'll sit there like an idiot, idiot and watch the stupid movie, and you've seen the movie already. And my mother's in the hospital besides. Are you going to cry? Oh, dear. <laughs> Richard, you better cut this out. You don't need me to go to the movie. You have lots of little friends that you can go with. You have lots of little friends. You're crushing them, man. Should I bring some knitting with me? Hey, I'll bring my Barbies. <laughs> Richard, I'm such a busy man. I have a TV show and a radio show to sit there at a movie I, I already told saw. You shouldn't have misled him. Look at him. Now he's crushed. You gonna make me go? You gonna force me to go? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, boy! Is you know you are a good actor. He's acting upset, and he's not even upset. I'm very hurt. I'm very hurt. Well, get over it. <laughs> You're a right. grown man. You're a grown in, man. You're a big boy. If this boy. is the worst hurt you ever feel, you'll have a great life. He has a bi his whole life is one big party. <laughs> Robin, I don't have time. I'm not speaking with you right oh, now, okay? Geez. All right, I have to take a break. Richard Simmons is here. Don't take a break. I'm sure he's here to promote something. Uh, no, I'm not here to promote anything. Right, don't we'll take be back. a break. No, I have to take a break. You, wh I have why to am I here today? I will take a why break. Why am I here today? Right, Tell me. Let me explain to you when we Give get back. Give me an idea why I'm here today. When we get back, I'll explain everything. You know, when you're with regular guys, you say to a guy, "Hey, I'm busy today. I can't go he somewhere." Says, okay. Guy see goes, you later. Yeah, all right, man. I'll, I'll, I'll see you we later. We had he's a acting like a, date. He's acting like I'm on a date with this yeah. guy. We had a date to go to the movies. We've had this date for three and a half this is like weeks. A, this is like a guy. Five hours and eleven minutes. Are you a man? We. we I'm told you, I'm busy. I'm busy. Would you stop it? There was a scheduling problem, Richard. I've got a, I've got a TV show and a radio show. You You're got the life of Riley. Movie, Howard. You got the life of You're Riley. You're doing this for me. I'm not going to it. Yo, yes, you are. You are going to this movie. I'm going to talk through the whole thing. I don't care if you talk through the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'm You're going for to you. the movie. I'm, I'll you go, promise can me we see a man's movie? You want to go see a man's movie with me? I'm not <laughs> going to go see a feminine movie. Oh, why is Prince of Tide? You know Let's what? go see The Last Boy Scout. I've seen it. Oh, and you tell me you were going to go with me to that. Don't start, Howard. <laughs> Dude, he acts like a married Jackie. Do you believe this? He's, he's upset. Jackie. He's upset. Jackie. This has Jackie. nothing to do with Jackie. This has nothing to do Miss with no thank you note. All Miss this Quivers. Has, all this has to do with is you said you would take me to the movies. Let me ask you something. Who is, who is your role model in life? Is it Tinkerbell? Because I've never seen a man act this way. I told you I'm busy. I'm not saying anything because you're not. I'm not married to you. You a whine. A promise is a promise. I'm breaking is my a promise. promise. You're not breaking it, Howard. Because uh, my I mother's will stay in the hospital, and I will throw you in the car, and I will make you see this. I'm movie. not going. Oh, you don't. You want to bet you're not going? And you're not throwing me in any car because I'll beat you up. <laughs> you want to bet? I have a pink belt in karate. You're gonna <laughs> beat me up. Belt. You're gonna beat me. Oh, please. You can't how get come, me in that car. How come when we're talking on the phone at your home? <laughs> yeah. We are such good friends, and we are because we, we are good friends. Then why would you treat and a good friend, a good understand friend like a doormat? You have made fun of my weight. Wait you have second. made fun of my hair. Let me show you something. You have made fun of everything. You have made fun of Glory as Savant, poor sweet thing. Let me tell you something. Uh, here is my financial planner. Look, month in view planning calendar, financial Ooh. planner. And you hear it. Look at this. F January. What's today? 27th. 27th. TV meeting. Howard, I don't care. I meet every Monday with my TV show. Howard, we tape I on don't Fridays. Care. I don't have time for you. You're going. I'm not going. Watch. Robin, tell him. We have to have the TV meeting. I have Robin, no choice. Go write a thank you note.
<laughs> what are you jealous of, Gloria Estefan? I think she's wonderful. But do you I ever like way... wish you were Gloria Estefan instead of Richard Simmons? I could be in ten minutes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you know she has rods in her. Oh God, you! What if you had okay, rods in you? Pick on me. <laughs> Pick on me. Don't pick on Gloria. Would you have pick rods in you? Just pick Would on me. Would you ever put a rod in you? Pick Would on you me. Would you ever put a rod don't in you? Pick on Gloria Estevan. And Would don't you allow pick a rod in you? Jr. <laughs> pick on me. All right, I got to take a break. We'll be back right at Richard. Please try to understand and get there. There is it. no understanding. You and I are going to see Prince of Ties. I will go see a man's movie with you. If huh? You if you want to see a manly movie, I'll go with you. I'm not Nick seeing Nolte a. I'm not seeing best a feminine actor. It's Nick not Nolte a feminine movie. Sucks. He mumbles through the whole thing. I saw it. You haven't seen it. Jealous. You haven't seen it. You're jealous okay, because so I'm you jealous. don't have an Oscar. <laughs> Neither does he. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> All right, I have to take a break now. Richard Simmons, our special guest. Everybody loves Richard. Yes, he. Everybody what? does. If everyone let just... me off the hook, pal. Let yeah. me off. The... Hey, pal. No, pal. No. Yes. No, Ariel. No, you can't go up to the sea. Now he's quoting no. the Little Mermaid. Yes. He's, he's quoting the Little Mermaid. <laughs> a very sick How man. Many people can do that? And the bee. How many people can do that? Yeah. It's important work. I don't care if you've seen the movie already. You said you would take me, and I want to go. I saw it. Give me a break. Give me a break. I'm not going to give you a break, Howard. You know it's going to be the game for Christmas. I'm going to use the other Caramel corn. Oh, come on. Don't insult you. Don't insult my intelligence. You're Don't out of your mind. You. You're out of your mind. Don't insult you. You've He's insulted for me for 20 minutes. I didn't say anything. I said you looked a little chunky. That's all. And then what and happened? And now you look great. And then what happened? You look fabulous. What did you say to me? And I if I asked you, you to fabulous. lift up your shirt, you would not want to do it. <laughs> I would Lift up your shirt, Howard. Lift up your shirt, Howard. You, lift up your shirt, Howard. You like, lift up your you shirt, like Howard. showing me your naked body. Oh, please. Number one, I wasn't naked. Stand up and lift Last up your shirt. Last night, you were with Big Fat Friends? What was that all about? You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Very, I'm trying to change the topic. No, I don't believe Let's talk it. about something nice like love. When, when, when a man falls in love with a woman, he gives her an engagement. When a man falls in love with a woman. Thank you, Howard. Yeah. He doesn't even know his mic's off. I know. I know. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Does he really think somebody's going to listen to this? <laughs> no one's going to listen. He doesn't even know his mic's off. He doesn't have any. When a man marries a woman. When a, let me get through this, please. Say when a man three words, to make, three words to make me happy. Caramel corn. Everyone says, "What did you get from Howard for Christmas?" I got a tin of caramel. Corn. All right, I'm turning. And what else did you get? The teddy bear. I got no teddy. There's bear. a teddy bear inside of it. Who went through the caramel corn? I can't have that stuff in the house. Did I get you a sweet little teddy bear? You got my me caramel corn. You know something? There's something wrong with you. Oh, fine. I'm, <laughs> get, I'm getting a very strange vibe. On I don't you. like the cheap caramel corn in the tin. Of what did you do last night? You got together with some of the people that you helped. No, I was in my room all alone. And you phoned 65 I, of your friends? And you, you, to they're see not my they're, friends. They're just these people here. Heavy they're people? people who write me letters, and I pick up the phone, and people I People with everybody. sad stories about eating? Why? Why? Did you help anybody last night? Hmm? Were they going wild at the Super Bowl with 65 big fat balls of ice cream? <laughs> Howard. Howard, go back to making fun of me. All right. Go let back me, to let me say the three me. words you want to hear. Prince of Tides. No. That's what I want to hear. You're I, taking me, Howard. You let me, let me say the three words you want to hear. First, to say that your mother. Nude oh, Cub Scout. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, you ready? Now, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even hear what he funny. said. I was looking at and you, Rob, Richard. What did he, he say? And I'll tell what you, did I, I was say? looking at and you. And so different at dinner, too. When we I go was looking ourselves. at you. I don't know what he said. What did he say? I said nude Cub Scout. Oh, oh That's terrible. I, thought I don't were, like those. I thought those were the three words. I don't like... Sing when a man loves a woman again, because uh, <laughs> I was so beautiful. Richard is you know, my You know, maybe sponsor. your ratings got too big. Maybe this uh, is oh, it. Richard. Maybe your ratings are too big, and maybe you're just really big now I'll stop this game playing. No, it's have no game playing. Maybe we your television show gets these great you. ratings. I want to have a nice conversation with you. Is this a nice conversation with you? Your chubby, glorious divine has a rod up her tuchus? I mean, is this I didn't kind ever of conversation? Said that. I never said she had a rod up her tuchus. That's interesting. Uh, and, and Harry Connick Jr. can't think. What are think? you thinking about rods and, and tuchus? I'm thinking about nothing. Oh, that's interesting what you just said. That was a Freudian slip. No, it was not. A rod in her tuchus. I, I came here to tell you I came wow, here to do that, Kathy and Regis, that's make... and I came here to see Prince oh, of Tides. Oh, Kathy and Regis. You didn't come here for me. You came I here for came... Kathy and Regis. All right, thank you. That that ends that conversation. 
Did you just hurt yourself? Are you all right? <laughs> he what did hurt. he do? I don't know. What happened? He snapped his headphone into his eye. <laughs> he oh, what? No. He picked up his headphones, you know, sometimes. Hey, what, why, the guy's crying. Why are you making fun? Are you serious, Richard? He'll are you be, all right? He'll be all right. I know one thing that'll make me feel better. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> what thing is that? Prince of Tides. Oh, that. I you went to something else. <laughs> okay, we're here with Richard Simmons. I've come in here and you've attacked me. Then you told me your mother's leg was broken. Then you told me she had a heart attack. <laughs> then you told me there was a television meeting. There is. I came. I, a TV I scheduled all my things. Are you around. doing Regis and Kathy Lee today? Yes, Good. I am. Why don't you go to the movie with Regis? Did you see the Pepsi commercial on the yeah. Super Bowl with Regis? What? I did see that. Nobody should drink Pepsi. Oh, God. Don't drink it. Howard. If they have Regis Philbin in their Regis advertising. Regis Philbin You is... know what? Pepsi won't have me in their advertising. You know why? They think I'm immoral. But you want to know something? Howard. Who's immoral? Who's immoral? Howard. You have me in that commercial before you put Regis Howard. Philbin. Howard. Please. What? Talk about me. What make, about me? Make fun of me. Don't make fun of these people. You don't know them. You know nothing about them. Now stop it. You're doing everything hateful because I don't want to you see feel bad about you taking annoying me to Prince you of Tides. You hear how annoying you are today? I'm not annoying. I you know what I'm we're telling you, do? I'm going to tell you, you rationally again. You told me last again. week that we were going to go see Prince of Tides. I did not realize it was on a Monday. This you is did. when I have a... Ba -da, ba -da you know what we should do? We should uh, tape his voice and play it back to him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's what we're going to do to you. When you get tired, I'm going to play your voice back so you can understand what it sounds like to other people. Now... What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. Straightening. I'm being honest with you, and please. I'm being understand. honest. I'm asking with you. a favor. There's no favor. I am here. not going to. I'm telling you, I am You're refuse. Going. I refuse, Robin. I am not going to sit through that movie well, again. I, I hate you it. You know, this is between the two of you. You did agree to go with him. I Bottom agreed. line is, he chicken, can go himself. He's got a million friends. Poo poo. What about some of your fat friends? Won't they go with you? Stop, Howard, I don't but seriously, talk. why don't you go with a fat person? Howard. And they will feel better. Like, why don't you call up some of the people that you help? And, and they'll know that they can go to the movie with you. We had... And I don't want to see it, is we, what I'm telling you. I don't care if you and want to see it. And respect the fact that I've seen it already with my wife. I'm not respect it. You and respect, me. and respect the fact that I'm telling you call, no. Call Allison. That's it. I don't want to see the movie. You promised me you I hate you that movie. Taking... Barbara Streisand makes me want to puke. Do this for me. Are you my friend? I'm not going to sit through it. Are you my friend? How can I... Are you, you my friend? Are you my friend? No. Are you my friend? No. Could I sit? I am the guy you know on the radio. No, oh, no. is that it? I'm a guy you know on that's the radio. All I, that's all I am to you. That's what you are. That's what I am to you. Oh, is that correct? Yeah, hey, I know where it's at. Oh, you do know where it's ah, at. That's right. If I didn't have a radio show, I'd never hear from you again. Oh, is that is that correct? That's is that right. how you feel yes. truly? Yes. So then you don't really think that I'm a true friend. That's right. Because you won't even understand when I ask you for a favor. I am telling you, I have a very terrible schedule today, and I can't go with you to see a stupid Barbara Streisand movie that sucks. And I don't want to see it with you. I want to go to a man's movie. I don't want to see a movie, a feminine movie like that. One that with, with women yentas sitting and yapping about their problems like they're going to solve something. This is the stupidest. Let me tell you about this movie, okay? Howard, I don't want to. I'll tell you the ending right now. I'm going to tell, tell you the ending right now if you don't get ending. me off the hook. Oh, God. I'm going to tell you the ending. What a horrible thing for Nick you to Nolte do. Nick Nolte goes. Oh, well, I don't want to hear it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hands over my ears. I'm gonna ruin it for you. No, don't. I'm gonna tell you the I'm ending in the movie, right at the movie. I'm not listening. Come no, on, we're sitting there. I'm gonna do it. I'm not listening. At the movies, oh, no, I won't do, do it. This. I'm not gonna Howard, do it over the air. Why? At the movies, I'm gonna tell you the ending. Uh, okay, fine. He'll tell you everything before it happens. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh guess what's gonna happen next? Fine, I can. Barbara Streisand uh, clips her fingernails. Robin, he oh, made. A, this is where I agree with he you. Made he commitment. made a commitment. He did. I did I it, and I'm telling you here. that I forgot that it was on I a Monday. Came Look. Robin, explain why I have a meeting, please. Robin, well, don't come up with anything. Robin, please. All I please. can say is there are movies showing after the meeting. Listen, I I'm gonna, stayed in town. Can't you wait for Terminator 3? And then we'll go to <laughs> see that. I'm in Terminator 3. Are you? In a little small role. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Are you really? Well, good, I'll come to the premiere. There isn't any such thing as uh, Terminator 3. And let me tell you something. If I ever want to see that movie again, Howard. Prince of Tides, I would want that lady who does the sign language so I could interpret what <laughs> Nick Nolte is mumbling through Howard. the movie. The one from the Super Bowl, the one who waves her arms around. That was the Howard, sign language. She was like yelling. Fun. Don't make fun of that, Howard. Was that funny? That is How many not deaf funny. people are in this country? About most probably 40 million. No. No way. Who are hearing impaired and deaf. That's <laughs> oh, true. You, are you their champion, too? No, I would certainly help everyone out, and I think that putting Was it, it really necessary on the Super Bowl? Uh, yes, it was. Doesn't necessary. everybody know what the Star Spangled Banner is? Yeah, I think so. 
I don't know about you, but maybe you two need to take some compassion pills. That maybe woman was out there. Honest to God, Howard, you were horrible today. You were just no horrible. Reason. It started making fun of me. Then your mother broke her leg. I'm then just saying, for somebody attack. who works out as much as you, how many, how many days a week do you work out? Every single day. I'm just saying you would think you would be more muscular. I'm not a muscular person. Or you would think I'm not a job. you would have a reduction in fat. And, and what you eat, I see, you don't eat well. Oh, I'm really, I had a piece of fruit and a half of a bagel. Why are you yeah, picking on me? Yeah, but you put cream cheese on it. I put no cream cheese. It's not even open. Hmm. There it is. All right. Are you oh, happy wow. now? <laughs> are you happy now? Getting violent. Uh, do you help any fat deaf people? Do you ever help them? I have worked with the hearing yeah, impaired and good. the deaf. All right. And they should have that on the television. I think it. I think it serves a great purpose, and I don't think you should make fun of it. I really don't. What about your little cards? The um, deal a meal. Let's make fun of that. Deal a meal. Do you ever uh, put the sign language on there? <laughs> oh God! You know you. Really, you know I noticed your TV show doesn't have really, uh, sign language on it. You're really going your TV. Right, your you're infomercial. Going right, you're going right to the bottom today. Listen, I don't know. Why. I don't want to go to see this movie. Then why? Yet. Anger. Why take all the anger? I have done nothing to you. Yes, I'm you wonderful to you. You're not I'm letting wonderful. me. You know what? A regular guy lets a guy well, off the hook. I'm not regular. If you want, let me in on a new secret. Yeah, if you are regular, go to a coffee shop. I am telling you, I'm nice you, to your have children. A... I'm lovely to Allison. I'm tell a me good when you're done. To you. Let me tell you something. And for you to say that I am not a good. It friend is not yours. normal for a man <laughs> to say to another man, "Hey." I'm busy today. I got a little problem. You're here for Regis, and you're here for a lot of other reasons. You have business here that you're conducting. I came to do Kathy and Regis, yes. Yes. Friends All of right. mine, and Fine. I love them. Right. And I came, I thought, to go to the movies with a friend. You I would love to go to a movie I haven't seen. I, I don't care if you've seen this or not. Everyone knows. I, I'm not going to waste my day. Robin, Four philosophically, I'm not going to. people Robin, what else is you've playing? seen Prince of Tides. What else? What else? There's yeah. plenty of things playing. There's, go ahead. Uh, Robin's going to give us a choice. We're going to pick a movie now. All right, I'm not going to go see a movie. I saw. I'm sorry. You'll go the, with one of your other little friends. There's Grand Canyon, Father of the Bride, The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. What is the Hand That Rocks the Cradle? That's pretty cool. How is it good? Double snap. Is it good? It's, it's great. It's great. Wait a second. Were you just doing an impression of the guys from In Living Color? No, I you wasn't. You wouldn't do that, would you? No, I would certainly not do that. <laughs> oh, going for your second bagel? Going for your second bagel? Yeah. I'm taking a taste. A taste? <laughs> Lift up your shirt, Howard. Be quiet. Howard, please. lift up your shirt. Oh, how come you can say things to me, but I can't say things to you? You do say things. Go ahead, Robin. Uh, the hand that rocks the cradle. Yeah. Cuffs with Christian Slater. <laughs> I'm not going to go see that. <laughs> Free Jack. The, oh, uh... let's go see Free Jack. Come on. Isn't that something you put in your car? No, come on. Let's go see Free Jack. What is that? That's the new Mick Jagger movie. Yeah. We're sing. Listen. I'm not going with you. JFK. Going down the street. Hey, let's go see JFK. Making everyone. Let's go see JFK. Brightness. Now listen. Hey, Richard, why don't you go see Juice? I'll meet you there at the theater. <laughs> All right? There's a good one for Richard to go see. Howard, Juice. You go. you're not getting out of this. I'm not going with you. I'm out of it. All right. Listen, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with Richard Simmons. I'm not going to that yes, stupid you are movie. Going. I hate it. You're going. I'm going to tell you going. the end. I will You're say going. one thing. Yeah. One thing in Richard's behalf. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. America. <laughs> say it when we get back. America. We'll be back. America. Stop giving ultimatums. You're being ridiculous. How about what? How about what? How about what? Come here. What? How about what? <laughs> What? No, I just said to Richard I needed to talk to him. About before. what? <laughs> you might as well say it in this room. Yeah, Everything say it, Gary. that you say goes right to how I thought when you did you do you have to tell Howard when you asked me out for dinner? I didn't tell him. I told him I thought that was between. You did you tell and me out. No, no, I didn't tell him that I asked you out. I told him you what said, happened hey, after Richard. you canceled. Hey, Richard. He was discussing what like? you know what it was? He couldn't believe how what a baby you are. No, I didn't say that. Oh no, that, that's how my Howard interpreted God. it. You're a baby. If somebody can't go somewhere with you, you take it personally. You, a promise is a promise is a promise. So we're telling I you, I saw, I didn't think you were serious about Prince of Tides. I thought you were just I doing an totally on-air I was totally serious. Stick. And everybody who saw me, are you going to go see Prince of Tides? Uh, oh, Howard? who cares? Yes. You I told Prince you, I, can't you get yes. it through your thick head that I saw it already? I know you've seen it already, but I haven't. So go oh, see it oh. with a friend of yours. What did you say to me over there? What did you say to me over there? I said to you. What did you say to me over there? Please understand. No, no. What did I say? About our friendship. I said you're my Spit friend. Spit it out. Spit it out. What did I say? But say it like you mean it. What did I say? I don't even know. About our friendship. What about it? T tell him what you said to me. 
What did I say? Does anybody... I wasn't it's there. Just, I you know what? Hear it. It's Jekyll and Hyde. It's Jekyll and Hyde. That's all it is. We go off the what, air. Just tell me what I said. Give me a hint. Boy, tell you're me real, what it you are really with. a friend. I, I really said I love you. you I man. love you. I love you. You said all that. Mm. Then the minute we get up, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, mother, daughter, mother, daughter, <laughs> fade down away in China. You know what? This is this is all a shtick. He doesn't even want to go to the I movie. want to see what Prince is... of Time. Well, go see I it. I haven't seen it. I go see it. I can't yell you all today. Yeah, who can? My voice is tired from him. I got a huge meeting today. What and Gary it? says, uh, well, yeah, uh, what I'd do you have to talk to, really to Richard go. about? I have to do a spot. Please just be I quiet. really want to have dinner with you, Richard. I really want to have dinner with you. Oh, really? Well, how about Sunday? S Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Uh, and then I said I'd even go have, with People him. have plans other than, you know, your... Well, Gary could have taken me to the... To, to the ba did, what, did you want to go to did the baseball to, game? Did you want to go to a house party in East Meadow to watch a football I game? I would have gone. I was all alone oh, yeah, in my right. room. I would have gone. No one asked me to go to yeah. East Meadow. I could have sat around and... Richard, it was a room of guys just sitting around. Now, does that interest you? <laughs> Richard Simmons is here. He's a great guy. Everybody loves Richard Simmons, but he said something to me during, during the commercials that really hurt. What's that? He threatened me. He says, you know, if you don't go to this movie with me, I'm never coming on the show again. And I said, look, Richard, I love you, and I love you when you come on the show. We have a great time together. He was on my TV show. He received rave oh, reviews. I looked at it this weekend. It was the funniest thing I've he ever seen. He was fabulous. He's a fun guy, and I love him. But boy, oh boy, if he's so sensitive that he doesn't understand that I'm really busy and I won't be able to go to the movies this time around. You say, you know what, Howard? I'm going to go see the movie on my own. And I tell you what, Let me I'll tell take you a rain a date on another movie. Let me tell you a story of friendship. I've had this guy to my house. Right, but let me tell you, because I have an exact situation just like this. Yes. A friend of mine called me up and said, Robin, I have two tickets to Liza Minnelli. Go ahead. And you know how I feel about Liza. <laughs> Do your Liza impression. I <laughs> go ahead. Do it. Now. Now. No! I'm stepping out! <laughs> and you know how hard it is to turn down tickets to that. She should, you know what? She should die from cancer. Go ahead, yes. So, as soon as my friend said this to me, I said, look, I would rather you stick bamboo shoots under my nails right. and poke out my eyes with something hot right, than, than see to Liza. go see Liza. Right. And she said, you've got to go with me. And who was this friend of yours? Jim J. Bullock? <laughs> You must go with me. You cannot get out of it. But I love Liza. And I said, please don't ask me this. Liza's my favorite, and you promised. Anything but Liza I would do for you. Right. And what your friend say? And then she said, no, you have to go. Who, what kind of friend is this? And is that I a said, real friend? No. All right. It's if you're going to make me go, I'll go. And then she called me back a few hours later and she said, thank you so much for being such a friend that you would go with me, even though you would hate it. Right. And I have found someone else. You're off the hook. Well, Richard, you hear that? That's what friendship's about. Maybe you should find somebody else and I'll go to a different movie with you today or maybe some other day. What? You know, Gary wanted to really go see Prince of Tides. He hasn't seen it. Would you mind if Gary went with you? And he'll be really nice to you? Did that tale of friendship mean anything to you? Richard, did you learn anything from Robin's story? I didn't like Robin's story. <laughs> Would you mind if Gary went to see Prince of Tides with you? I, I'm offering you Gary. If you don't take me to Prince of Tides and you don't care about me. No. That, that's the bottom you're, line. You're confusing two issues. Uh, no, that's the issue. That doesn't mean I don't care about you. That's the issue. Gary will do the popcorn trick with you. <laughs> Gary will cut a hole in the bottom of the popcorn box. I hope you're happy. No, get, Gary, him, tell get Richard it all out you, Gary, tell Richard our surprise for him. We have a surprise for you. That you want to... Go ahead, tell him. Th that I'll go to the movies with you. Do you want to go to the movies? I, I, well, I always want to go. I want to go to dinner with you. I like hanging around with Richard. And I'll do the popcorn trick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> How's that? Now, oh, look, just enjoy yourself today. Would you take, like to go? <laughs> take, all, take all your pot shots. Would you today? go to the movies with Gary? Oh, Gary is crying because you won't go to the movie with him. I thought it was. I'm giving up my date with a celebrity so that Gary can be with you today because I felt it was a special day for Gary. And that's a story of friendship. And that's the story of friendship. <laughs> that's. <laughs> Come on, Richard, let me off the hook. Say you'll go with Gary. No. And we'll go another time. No. No, this is the ultimatum. Howard. I'm not going, Richard. Okay, then fine. And you're never coming on the show again. <laughs> this is it. That's wrong. 
It's but all not right. wrong. That's what you want to do. It's not wrong. Bottom line is, I thought that you were a good I friend. I am a oh, good let friend. Let us ask a question then. Let us ask a question. Yeah, let us ask a question. Go Robin, ahead. Robin, Robin I think you've seen L.A. Ever, Law too many times. If, if he's, he's not, not going to ever do this show again, will we never hear from him again? Hmm. Interesting question. It's uh, going to be sad because uh, I, I love hearing from you. Howard has my home number. And Howard has called me on many occasions, and I have Howard's home number. Thank you, Richard. And I have called him on many occasions. I didn't ask you what happened in the past. What's going to happen in the future? Tell me the parameters that we. Am I never allowed to uh, call you again? <laughs> we're we're off as friends. That's it. No, I don't think we're, I, I will. I'm not going to do the show anymore. Mm -hmm. But but you'll find you know you have you have tons of people waiting to do this show. That's not true. That is true. No, it's not. Gary gets about maybe thirty or forty calls a day. Well, that is true. From people who want to do your show because you're number one. And I think now that you've num you're number one, look at your phones, look completely lit up <laughs> from all parts. Now that you're number one and your television show gets a 22 share, Thank you. and I, I just think that you know maybe you're just too important for me. Maybe no, maybe I, I you know you're not you're not listening again. You got a very thick skull. I'm no. going to tell you something. You're a very insensitive man. I've always said this. Insensitive, about you. yeah. You I'm, think you're sensitive because you help fat people. That's not sensitivity. You force your help on fat. Yeah, I mean, these people can't escape you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Why you're an insensitive man, Robin? That was so when people. When people that was so unnecessary. Oh, Richard! When people say to you something where they have a you particular promise, you made me a promise, and Howard, I am trying to get out of that promise well, and you make you a new one. You can't get out of promises in life. You can't get out of promises in life. You've made me a promise. You know why my phones are busy? Those are probably some of those fats. I was looking for some of your sappy advice. I'm going to tell you something right now. You are being very mean and vicious to me by threatening. If anyone me. has been mean and vicious, it has been you. I Howard am your Stern. friend. I'm your best friend. Because I don't ask for anything from you. Nothing. Just your friendship. You ask me to come on your show, I come on your show. And I ask you, you to ask come me on to my show. You ask me to do your TV show, I do your TV show. Now, right. you've, never come out, you've never come out and done anything with me. I want to do something I, I haven't done already. I asked you to be in sweat into the oldest. I will not be in that. Okay, fine. That's because fine. I, I am, I'm not going to exercise. No, no, that's fine. I understand that. But... You asked me. We, I, we, the movie. You only come to town to go Christmas. to the movies with me. Why are you going to Regis Philbin? I love Regis. I mean, I want you I to promise Kathy. me you will not go to Regis today. I love. I would never promise. Oh, you but that. that you won't give that me. That has nothing to do with me. All right, me. so forget it. Everything's off. Now you don't owe me anything, and I don't owe you anything. But you still have to be on the show. Okay, that's it. Now everything's equal, right, Robin? I guess. That's right. You are so horrible to me today, <laughs> Robin. <laughs> Honestly, you to have God. done nothing but be mean to me. Oh, right. You see, you don't see yourself. Robin is very hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, why don't you go see Prince of Tides with Richard? I've seen it, too. Yeah, and isn't it horrible? <laughs> the worst movie ever. You made me a promise. Let me just give you the promise. Five million people all right, all right, I'm gonna know ask, okay. that you have made me this promise I didn't to go think to this serious. movie. Don't I didn't you think, it was think this is a We talked bit about a this at your house. Tantrum? We you talked about Gangi? this at your house. I told you. At your house, you said to no, me. No, I didn't. We're going to the movies on the 20th. You said this to me. And I made a mistake. No, it wasn't a mistake. A mistake would have been if you had been in coma and couldn't remember it. Or maybe broken your leg like your mother and had heart attack arrest. <laughs> but you didn't. You said to me, we're going to the... Do you, he says, here are your exact words. Do you, but I'm asking you... Do you really want me to take you to see Prince Tides? Mm -hmm. And I said, I really <laughs> well, want to go That's me. see Prince of Tides. Matter Let me fact, explain Robin, to everyone. I'm turning off your mic for a second because I'm trying to get a word. In. Robin looked it up in the paper. Robin. Yes. He looked at the theater. All right, so you're right. So I'm asking okay. you to let me out of it as a friend. No, no, no. I don't want to go. Why would you want to go with someone who doesn't want to go? What are you, a retard? You would like him to sit there and be miserable. And you're going to want me to sit there and tell you the ending because I will. Then fine. If that's what you, a promise is a promise. All right, I'm going. Okay. I'm going, but I'm fine. telling you the ending. Fine. As I'm sitting here, I'm going to tell you everything that happens right before it happens. You can do that. I'm going to that. talk through the whole thing. Absolutely. I'll deal with it. And not only that, Robin, I am going to bring my uh, TV crew. Oh. And I'm going to sit there and film me telling them. Oh, you. my. Yep. I'm They're coming. not going to let you in. I'm going to the movies. <laughs> oh, they'll let me in. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> All of a sudden, this and I'm not, little... And I'm not holding hands with you this... in the movie. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe care. if this the cameras little... are there, you should. Yeah. This little date that you and I were supposed to have. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm going to have the, I'm gonna start holding his hand. I'm going to put my hand down his <laughs> pants and film the whole thing. That's what I'm going to do. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, think, you know what? I'm going to get some energy out of this. Yeah. Yes, I will go to the movie oh. with you. Go ahead, Gary. I was going to say, I thought I had the solution for you. What is it? There's a, one of our listeners who's also a fan of Richard's is 220 pounds. Yeah. And she wants to go with Richard. Oh, wow. I'd be willing to give up my time. Let's see. If, let's now, see, that would be a nice <laughs> thing, Howard, for you to give up your time with Richard for her or him. Gary? Yes. I would take 50 million people to see that movie, but I have a date 
with Howard Stern. Miss, as bad as your life is, Richard wants to blow you off and go with me, who's perfectly fit. Stop that, Howard. Hello? Richard Simmons Hello? doesn't care about you. Who's he this? doesn't care if you're fat. Richard, I'm insulted. Yeah, no. Of course you should be. Howard, don't... He you doesn't... You know why? Because he really doesn't care about you. You're I just know. a paycheck. His, it's a day off for him. It's a day off. He That's can't work. be bothered with heavy people today. That's work. He needs a day off. Your work to him. Well, I, th I thought I'd really do help for both of you, both Howard and Richard. No, I'm willing to give up my slot with Richard. If, uh, but Richard doesn't. No, Richard is going to hold me to it. So oh. I'm going. And you know what, ma'am? You're very heavy. Yeah. I would just turn to some other exercise guru. <laughs> Howard, you are so or you know. There's a guy in the Bahamas. What's his name? Dick Gregory. Howard, you're, 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 why, you're are you, why are you doing that? Why do you say those things? Why, why do don't you, do ma'am? Why don't you go pound down three pounds of bacon while Richard whines Howard, like a schoolgirl? Because I'm, I'm upset with you, Richard. I'm really upset that you don't understand my predicament either. And I'm going to tell you something else about yourself. You're being very, very insensitive here to this woman and to me. It has nothing to do with this. Ma'am, are you going to eat bacon? Name? What did you eat this morning no, I for know, breakfast? I keep kosher. I, I don't eat bacon. Hi. What did you eat this morning Who is for breakfast? This? What Could did I you talk eat? To this no, lady, no, please? no. She, you're not interested in her. Hello? Why, lady, why don't you just climb in the box with Walter Hudson? Because there's no hope Howard, for you. Richard has rejected that. you. Howard, Richard rejected your plea. Talk about rejection. Talk about rejection, ma'am. Where's Walter Hudson buried, Robin? Well, I'm gonna go. I don't know. We're going to dig him up. Long We're going to dig him up so you can so climb in the huge box with Howard, him. Howard, stop that. What do you weigh, honey? 220. Be ashamed of yourself. Stop that, Howard. Who, what is your name? Oh, oh, now you care? Uh, can... Please be quiet. I'll handle her. You don't care about her. Howard, you have never... Have you been eating to the oldies? How oh, my God. Huh? You Howard, don't care you about her. you have never treated me like this, and all the time I've been <laughs> well, yes, I show, have. You have never treated me this awful. Oh, this is you the worst. You have made ugly remarks to this woman about me and what I do. Like well, she needs to go to the her. movies with you when today. All this is all we're talking she about She would like to go to the movies, movies don't drag today. This, she wants to see you in the movies, this. and I am willing to give up so my slot. So then she can come with us. No, she can't. Oh, fine. You don't want to go I don't care about her. You do, supposedly. I don't. I'm at least honest with I care with about it. everybody, no matter what they weigh, but this has to do with you and I. Are you afraid she'll eat the projector and we won't be able to see the movie? Oh, Is that the problem? Oh, that's it. All that's right, now listen, it. let me no, tell you something. It. You just didn't want to go to the movie. I'm going with you. you. I'm going with you. I'm bringing a camera crew. Me, and that's fine. That's fine. You don't need me anymore. You have other court gestures that'll come She won't you. go. Ma'am, he won't go with you. you he do. won't go with you to the movies. I see. Okay. It has, ma'am, it has nothing to do with you. I promise you. And you, you know that. It has nothing to do he with you. He likes going to the movies with guys like me, not, not uh, Howard, women you, like you. Howard, I would go to the movies with this lady no, in you a wouldn't. second. She's not good enough for you. You're a rich millionaire who uh, doesn't care about her. Am I you right? So evil and mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. off the hook. Come on. You have never. No, you can laugh about this, but you know you are so evil and mean to me. So what did you eat for breakfast yesterday? Let me handle this. See how I do. Yesterday. I, yeah. What did you eat for breakfast? You don't yesterday? have to answer his questions. This is she. Does. I can get your number. Off no, you're not going to. I'm going to hang up on. And I can I'll help the question if, if Richard goes to the movies with me. Oh, good. A little bit of your own uh, medicine. She can come with us. I no, would no, love no. to. No, no, no. Not us. I'm going along with you. I made a date with you. Well, then she could sit in a different row, but we could buy her a ticket. No, we can't. <laughs> How, what did, you eat? You, what did you eat yesterday? Six pizzas? Stop it, Howard. No. Stop it. I won't have you insult this woman because you were angry with me. She's probably going to be depressed because you won't go to the movies with her. She'll probably eat six pizzas she today. Understand. Put another layer of fat around her heart because of you. She understands. Oh, Robin, help hey, me you out. Get... Sometimes you usually help me out. Hey, All you're doing hey, is flipping you wanna... newspaper articles. <laughs> you want to get it, Richard Simmons? Well, I can't believe that you're continuing Ma this argument. I want you long. to go out and eat a Dalmatian. Oh, oh, oh my God. That would be the worst God. thing you could do to him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ma'am, what is your name? My name? Yes. My name is Rebecca. M Rebecca, you know that I would help you in any way, and you know that I would take sure you. How you know right. that? You're turning her down. Yeah. But, but you understand. You turn her down. No, you understand. What did you eat for breakfast yesterday? Howard, leave this woman alone. What did you eat for breakfast? I, I, what? I told you my deal. I tell you for Richard goes out with me. All right, very good. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. You were horrible. You were hor. And she you could know lose weight. And you know what's awful? These Screw people her. that work for you yes. are looking at you in a horrible way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie. I'm going to invite that woman down so she, so you can kick Jackie. her, Richard, since you just kicked her over the phone like you that. You know what? For you to do good, that. Good job. For you good to job. do that. Good job. I hope you proud of yourself, point. guru. I've never seen him be mean like that. That was mean. I've never seen him be mean like that. You know I was not mean. I would help that woman out in a second. You had your opportunity. This has to do with you and me going to the movies. And I'm you're... going with you. I told you I'm going. Get the paper, Robin, the one you're clipping. The oh, movie we are going to right see here. today okay. is called... See? The movie we're going to see today is called Prince of Tides. Yes. The movie is about a jackass... Howard. Who, ...who has problems with his wife. 
No, I'm not going to give away the ending. No more. Howard. And he goes to New York City, and who does he meet but that big, ugly Yenta, I Barbara Streisand. I hope that you're happy. About what? That poor woman that you put on the phone and humiliated her. Well, it's funny I have to take a break. It's funny you mention that because on our phone line now mm. is a woman who's over 300 pounds who's been trying to contact Richard at all these different shows. And she says that it really pains her when you call fat people fat. Well, let me tell you something. I will tell oh, you. Don't put her on the phone. Wasn't it enough that you got this other woman on the phone we'll and talk to her. her? We'll talk to her right after these words. I wanted to go to right the after movies. these words. <laughs> Time to take a break from today's edition of Howard Stern's Master Tape Theater. No worries, it'll give you a chance to change your ass napkins. This is David Arquette, and you're listening to Howard Stern's Master Tape Keeper. Give me my sweater. Give me my sweater. No, I want to leave. I want to hug it. Give me my sweater. I want to leave. Such give a, such me, a nice sweater. <laughs> give me my sweater. You're evil. Are you leaving us now? Is that what you're telling us? That this is the last time we'll ever be on the air with you? I'm crying. Can I have my sweater, please? You know what? People who are truly friends don't hold you up for ransom. Of course not. This Robin, is, this is just clip pound. your newspapers, hon. I'm holding his sweater because I feel the need to be close to it. It's been some bad feelings. Well, we ought to on. save something of Richard. He's leaving us. And on our phone right now... Is a 300 pound woman. Howard, I will not sit here and ma have you make fun of people again. It's oh, actually the same woman who. It's down. the same woman who was just on our phone, but she's gained 100 oh pounds. My. Howard, Howard, that... Howard, I'm not going to take this. <laughs> Give me my sweater. Let me go. You can no. pick one. There's another. You're my friend. There, you're not a friend. I said I can't make our appointment today. Does that Fine. mean the end of our relationship? If it meant the end of your relationship, would you see him today, Howard? I don't believe I don't believe that it's the end of our relationship because nobody would be that stupid to end a relationship over the fact that I have a busy schedule today and I need to reschedule our appointment. Mm. I, I fly all the way. You didn't fly LA. all the way from me. I did not have to come you out were here. You're coming to do here any anyway. Shows. You're wrong, Richard. Stop no, playing. No, I'm not. Now wrong. you're lying. Now I'm not I resent lying. you. Fine. Anything you can do to get out of this, Howard? Go ahead and just try to. do You're it. on the air. Hello. Yes. I'm a, who is this? This Howard? is Howard and Richard. Hi. Hello, Richard. How are you? Who is this? My name is Mary. Mary, don't, why is he? Why do I do this show, and why is he so mean to me? I have no idea, but you tell Howard Stern that to do what he's doing to people like us... It's terrible. It's terrible, and the way I feel about him, he's no prize to look at. He's got a nose big enough for a person my size to ski down. Honey, you couldn't get on skis, you big fatso. Oh, stop it, Howard. You got a lot of nerve, sir. No, you got a lot of nerve. You didn't yell at her when she started insulting Howard. I was listening. Let me tell you something. I can't help my nose. That's what I was born with. But you and that fat, all you got to do is close your trap. You wouldn't be so fat. Don't you insult me, you big cow. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm so sorry. You gargantuan mammoth. Stop it, Howard. Stop eating. Stop eating. Get some self-control and discipline. stop it. Richard. Richard? Yes, ma'am. Get self-control. Richard. Yes, ma'am. You can't get it. You can't do anything can't about your talk? nose. You can't do anything about your nose, but you can certainly get some self-control, some right, discipline I will not in your let life. You insult this woman like this. Stop Rolls it. of fat. Richard, yes, ma'am. I've written to you to every show. I'm over 300 pounds. I need your help. All right, we'll get okay. your help. No, hold, 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 I'm going to help hold, you. Never mind, Richard. Richard's not a compassionate hold, man. How are you going to help? I am going to get you thin. You want to really be thin? Yes, I'm gonna I teach. You. I'm gonna take you on. I bet you I could. I bet you I could Howard, knock off 200 Howard, pounds off you, you could, like that. You couldn't knock 200 pounds off a cow. Hey, sweetheart, Howard, you want to be thin, Howard? Since you need someone else to help you get Mike thin, Howard. why don't you let me handle you? I'll get her telephone. I'll okay, put you Howard, on a Howard, diet. Howard. You want it to? You want me to handle you? Sure do. All right, you will lose weight. Take it on. I am gonna put you on hold, and I'm I gonna. Dare you. I'm going to do... You don't have to dare me. I said I'm going to take I'll you on. Howard, that is not no, no, your No, she doesn't I'll need you. I, she needs quick weight loss. I'm going to teach her no how to do it. No one needs quick weight loss. Now, stop it. I'll get your number, ma'am, and I will call no, you, you today. I will, Richard, uh, no, you I, I will call word? you. Yes. No, you will not get your number because I have to give it to him. Gary has the number. He doesn't. No. Yes, he does. He no, has the no. number. Let me tell you something. You're at 300 pounds. I'll have you... What do you want to reach? What's your goal? I want to be 140 pounds. I will have that done for you. You will have to listen to me, though. But I could, if I don't do this, I'm at a risk of dying. Right. Howard, I will help you. <laughs> Howard. Well, I'll get the weight off you. It's going to be like boot camp, sweetheart. I ate 
myself into a depression. Let I'll me tell you something, I'm honey. Gonna... Honey, you just need a little fresh air. When I get a hold of you, Howard, it's going to be... You couldn't get a hold, hold sweetheart, of me. Sweetheart, 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 you want to lose weight, don't insult me. I'm going to help you. I'm going to teach you discipline, honey. How do you think I got to be where I am? Discipline, discipline, discipline. Do you understand me? Howard. Richard. Howard. I tell you what, Richard, I'll make you a little bet. You work on her left side. I'll work on her right side. Oh, I guarantee you my Howard, wife, side loses Howard, more weight than your side. Please hang up, ma'am. And right, I will call you. I, I have your number. I will call you later today. Richard, you will call me. No, I he promise. will not get your I number. I have your word. You will I, get you have my word. That when Gary gives don't you give the your number, word. You will not get the number. I, I am going to call number. you later today. I will today. get the number. Let me help If her. you don't have the time to take me to the movies, you don't have the time to help people, No, Howard. instead of going to the movies today, you're going to begin your weight loss program. Richard, you're not You're not just telling me this, are you? I'm going to. If Gary has the number. Honey, you know what you are. You just Gary want to be with a celebrity. It. You want to hang out Stop with a celebrity. It, I don't want to Stop hang out it. with a celebrity. You Howard, can't lose the weight? Howard. I've tried everything. And then you call up and insult me? You think I'm going to hook you up with Richard Simmons? How do you think I feel when you're on your radio show? I have a 21-year-old nephew that lives here that yeah, loves you, that yeah. idolizes you. Yeah, so lose some weight and be, ma and be a Howard, role model. Leave her alone. What's the matter with you? I'm trying to lose Howard, weight. I'll please. get the weight off you. How I'll have you, you running around the block till you drop. No, you won't. You're going to give me push-ups and sit-ups every day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Howard, That's how you're going to lose. Stop. And Howard. you're going to learn to shut your mouth when you see some food. You're going to learn to Howard. stick something else in your mouth. I'm going to show you. i got a special diet plan. You put something in your mouth, you're not going to believe what it is. Oh, i got a special diet plan for you. What is it going to be? Yeah, I don't need a diet plan, Howard, honey. Stop it, no, please. but you need something to straighten that nose out. Yeah, rule number one. Howard, please stop don't. grazing. Oh, rule number two. Oh, my God. Howard. Rule number two, only seven meals a day. Oh, Howard. <laughs> oh, Howard. That's it, Howard. And rule number three. Give me my let sweater. Let my crew. You're not getting your give me sweater. My sweater. No. Howard, give me rule my number sweater. Four. Rule number four. Rule number four, only eat when you're awake. Oh, oh, my God. No. Don't Goodbye. talk to this Richard, woman like this. I'll Richard. put you on hold. You can talk to Richard. He'll yent it up with you all day. Richard, can I speak Richard, with you? that's right. Richard, hold on. Richard? Yes, ma'am. Will you call me? You hold yes, the phone. Yes, she's going to call be, you. I'll, I'm going to talk to you in just a couple seconds. Right, hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. Hold the phone. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, Richard, I'm going to I'm gonna hang up on her if you don't get back here. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> How are we supposed to uh, resolve this thing? <laughs> Count your folds to the oldies. Oh, jeez. You know, you're smart, though. What? You should get, her, get him all involved with her. Right. You have time for the movie. Richard, you better get back in here. I'm getting her number. Get her, get off the phone. I said Gary would get her number. Yes, get... ma'am. I'll get the number. Get you get back get in here now. Phone. You get in here now. Is it Mary? Yes, it is. And you your last it... name's B. They're both crying. They're both crying. Too nuts. <laughs> got a head case on my hand. What should I do, Robin? Should I go to this stupid movie? With you know, I, I really, truly believe he's upset. I'm going to the movie, though. All right. I said to him, so let's go to the movie on Long Island so I don't have to deal with Rush Hour, at least. And, and he won't even said, go to the movie on Long Island with me. He's got to see it in Manhattan? Why, why, why? What? Can I have my sweater, Would you please? come to Long Island with me? I I'm going Mary's to the movie. Number and I have, I I'm have going to, to the movie her. with you today, I said. You don't want to go to the movies with me. All I am is just a I don't want to go. for you to make fun of. I don't want to and see I a movie I saw already. I realized after three years. You're nuts. No, it's true. I'm just one big laugh for you. Just a big put down. You don't even respect what I do. You know, I he do. doesn't even want to go to the movies. You don't even respect movies. the work that now I that do. Now that you're saying yes, I respect saying no. He doesn't want to go. He just, you know what, now I said I'll go with yeah. him? Yeah, he Excuse has me, no I want to go desire with to go. theater at 1130. I have a plane at 6 o'clock. Now, uh, he doesn't want to go to the movies with me. Bottom He's just proved line. it to me. Bottom line is, I don't know. you've never been so mean to me today. Then you, in three years, you have never been this mean. And I don't know if it's the Super Bowl, if that did it to you. I don't know if your team lost. I love you, Rick. I don't know. what You don't love me. I love you. All, all I am is a dartboard for the Howard Stern people. <laughs> You're out That's of your what mind. I am. I, you know what? All you've done is Can I just review? Me? I'm chubby. No, we got to end this because you got to get to Regis. I know uh, that. I know you got to get this to Regis. But because he's important to you, more important than I am. Regis is important to me, uh, and let me Regis say treats me with respect, let me say and so something. does Kathy Lee. Let me say and something. And they never say anything ugly about you. You, you want to talk about Kathy Lee a little bit? No, I don't. You want to talk I about her personal Kathy life? Lee. I don't want to know about her personal life. Let me life. tell you a little bit about it. I don't want to know it, Howard. All right. So, I don't want to know it. You, I came you can't deal with an admirable man. I go to the movies with you. You promised me I said to go, I'll go to the movies. If you promised well, Alice he's gonna something, go. you would do it. Alice is my wife, Richard. You're not my wife. I'm a friend. So but I he's said, gonna if go. To I Allison, said I'm going. I'm going. If something you got me on the ropes. I'm going. I would raise those children <laughs> like they were my own. You, that's what you think. They would go to hairdressing school. <laughs> <laughs>
There's a reason to stay alive. Yeah. So That's now why I, I live. see your joke. I was going to kill myself over the weekend, but then I thought you might get control of the children. <laughs> I right. would raise those children like they were my own. Does Kathy Lee make anything happen in your pants? Kathy Lee's very beautiful. You, you find her attractive? Yes, I do. Who's more attractive, her or Barbara Streisand? Different ways. I mean, I uh, Kathy Lee has a gorgeous body. All right. And, Listen, uh, let me say something. Beautiful legs. I have a and schedule conflict. I will make it happen so that I can go to the movies with you. I will go with you. Which this one? is what you want. Which movie? The Prince of Tide. Robin, what time is it? I'm looking for it. I can't I'm find gonna it. I'm going to ask you one last time to have mercy on me as a friend that I no have a No mercy. Problem. No mercy. No mercy. N M N. You guys want to go too? Jackie? I'd like to. All right. Fred? Will it's you not, come? I know. Will you just come so we can goof on Richard I the whole time? scheduling conflict. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, all right. Well, well aren't you going to impose way, on that's Fred? Fine. That's fine. I thought you wanted us to protect you. <laughs> All right, there's a Jackie, movie. that's not funny. I always make it a joke. No, that's not a joke. A theater at... Um, I won't get home till 9 o'clock at night. 34th Street. It's um, we're going to have to see Long Island. Check Long Island. No, time. there's one here at 11.30. I have a Where? meeting at 11. I can't go past... I have to go past 1 o'clock. What time... Excuse me. What time is the movie that you told me on the phone? That's why I'm here, Robin. What is the name of the theater? It was theater? 1 o'clock. It was at 11.30. No, it was not. She knows this. Robin. Movie. Cineplex, 34th Street, is at 1 o'clock. I know it. And No, that wasn't the theater that, that we were talking about. There were a number of theaters where... Robin, don't be pussyfooting around over there. Get to the theater. All right. Don't use the word pussy. At the Lowe's Village Theater. That's a lovely theater. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going there with you. Oh, boy. No, not 12.30. I can't go 12.30. I got a TV meeting. I can meet you at 1. I don't care about 1 o'clock. I don't care about your TV meetings. I am a priority. Well, do you don't care? I think I do care. I'm okay? a priority. 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Fine. Where is it? All right, I'll meet you there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, Howard. <laughs> oh, no. You're not going to meet me there like you met All me right, at the here theater. You go. Yeah, I forgave you for that, didn't I? Because and you, you wouldn't get me out royal. of your limo, and I got tickets. You to want to know what? Allison I won't meet you today. <laughs> I will not meet you today. Now there's your payback. Now we're even. Now we're even. <laughs> what time? No, no, no. I'm not going today. Don't now we're even. Don't blame now me. we're even. Give me my sweater. No. Now we're even. Give me my sweater. I'm not going to see Prince of Tides since you burned me on the theater, and I came all the way into Manhattan on a Saturday Give night to be with you. Give me my. Now sweater. we're even. Don't Admit point it. at me. Admit it. We're not. Admit it. We're not. All right. It's at 2nd Avenue and 66th Street at 1 o'clock. Oh, God, that's a great one. Okay. We'll I'm go not, to that one. I'll have an envelope waiting for him at the door. <laughs> just like he did to me. In other words, you're not going to, you're just going to. No, 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 this. no. I'll meet you there. Okay. What theater is it, Robin? Go ahead, write it down. Uh, where, where, what did I just say? Uh, the. Um, <laughs> I'm not going. It's the Lowe's New York at 2nd Avenue and 66th. Lowe's. Yeah. New York. Hi, Sam Ronnie. And where is it now? Second Avenue and 66th. Look at the Second handwriting. Second Avenue and 66th. I'm not going to be there. All right. Let me just put it to you this way. <laughs> well, I'm not there. You'll never do this show again. Okay, I got you. So don't do it. What can I tell you? I, Richard, God bless you. Do whatever you have to do. Go ahead. I love you. Do what you. What are you doing, Jackie? Oh, I'm reaching for my pen, believe it or yes, not. Yes, I bet. Uh, <laughs> don't touch my legs. My don't. You know, go there at night and entertain those people and be joke. Don't touch my legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. I sit here all the time. And your hands gets closer and closer. Don't touch my legs. I knew there was a reason you came back. Let me have my pen. All right, Richard. Very good. I'm sorry that you're mad at me. I'm sorry you won't do the show anymore. It was nice being. See, friends. you keep getting into these things with him that wind up in these fights. I don't want to go. I told him originally I don't want to see the movie. You movies. told me he won't on take the no phone. But then you told him yes. I told him yes, so he'd get in here and we can tell him no. Okay, fine. That's fine. <laughs> trying to create something from the. I'll do. see you on Second Avenue and 66 at you quarter won't. to one. There'll be an envelope waiting for you at the box office. <laughs> Are you a lefty or a righty? Can I have my sweater? Are you a lefty or a righty? Can I have my no. sweater? Remind me, are you a righty? You're just right. Or a lefty? Left I'm going to sit on my uh, sit on his right side then. Uh -huh. All right. Look, you have spots to do. You must probably have some more guests. All right, I got to take a commercial break. You have some more guests to insult and We'll be back so right after. We'll Can be I back. have my sweater, no, please? No, you're not getting it back. I want my sweater. No, it's my memento of our friendship. We'll be back right after these words. You have compassion for fat people, why don't you have compassion for me? Think about that. 
Gary, tell him what you just said. Tell everybody. What I just said? Yeah. Can I have my saying? sweater, please? What, what you were just saying on the air to Richard? <coughs> I don't either, but it was good. Oh, no, I said, no, I said, I said that I feel that this is Richard's best appearance ever, and we've gotten a lot of phone calls from uh, people who are heavy. Who want Richard's help and because they, they, they get, listen to the show. But why is Richard I, compassionate to heavy people but not toward me? Howard, can I have my sweater, please? Let me talk to you about No. I'll give it to I'm, you. I'm going to say a proper goodbye and then I I'll give you your sweater. Say goodbye to me now. I want to go. I feel very uncomfortable and very unwanted. So what is the deal? You will not go. To, Gary will go to the movie with you today. You know what, Howard? Don't worry about the movie. Just don't ever worry I will about go to the movie with you, no, right? You're making me feel bad. No. What time are we going? Just can I, What time do you look, want to be at the movie? Say goodbye to me. Say it's been really nice. And just give me my sweater because I'm a little chilly. It's kind of cold. Did I send you a personal letter after you did my TV show? Just tell everybody yes or no. Did I send you a personal letter? Howard, I want to keep did my I personal send anybody, life off Did I send air. you a personal I letter? I think that it's a mistake to, to mesh them both together. Did I send you a personal letter after we did the TV show together? It was similar to a love letter, yes, Howard. All right. Was it a very heartfelt letter? It was a love letter. Did I send that to, Was that a form letter in any way? Did I send that to anyone else? No. 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 no you did I send it to Sandra Bernhard? No. I don't know what you sent. Uh, did I send a really nice letter? You sent a love letter, a heartwarming. Heart no, really, it letter. wasn't a love letter. It was a letter professing my friendship yes, to you, it right? Was. Yes, it was. Well, I guess you're both lying. And you're not leaving because you're feeling uncomfortable. You're leaving because Regis wants you in makeup. So here's your sweater. And here, here it is. Come here and get it from me. Come here and take the sweater from me. You were ready to graduate when you could snatch the sweater from my hands. <laughs> Grasshopper. <laughs> Come here and get your your, your oh, thing. Oh dear. Uh oh. Everybody loves them. Look how short your pants are. <laughs> your legs are very thin. You look fabulous. Oh, All right. Mind. Thank you, Richard. Richard, you, you what's, don't just are we make going? us all feel bad, uh, Richard. Be a jerk. Oh. Well, here's our new sponsor, Robin. <laughs> He really is being ridiculous, isn't he? He's acting like a woman. He's acting like a baby. Mm. He is. I'm exhausted. I gotta go home, guys. Every time he comes in here like a ball out of fire and you just beat him down for an hour and he walks out exhausted. <laughs> Robin, if somebody says they saw a movie or what is it, Gary? Uh, you know <laughs> Sitter and John's really a goofy guy. I, I know. I, he's a great guy, but you know, Richard walked out here and I had to hand him something else and and uh, you know, he wouldn't talk to me and he had this look on his face and he walked out the door and John looks at me and he goes I don't know, man. I, I think he's crying. <laughs> Did you see what you hear? What John walks in and like Richard's all upset during the commercials, even. Yeah. And John goes, "You know, you you you're the hero to the overweight." <laughs> <laughs> like trying to make him feel better. And there's nothing worse when you're feeling down to have stuttering John start giving you yeah, advice. Yeah, when stuttering John is on your side, you know you've reached bottom. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you've hit bottom, rock bottom. I don't think he, I don't think he was as gentle as you just said either. He was more like didn't he say like he was the, 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 the defender of the fat or something? No, like no, the overweight. He was trying to be defender of the overweight. Yeah, that was weird. And and, and listen, man, you go to the movie, all right? You be there. Uh, do you He's, think? But I don't he think will, he's going to be there. I don't think well, he's going to be there. in case he's there, you should be there. Are you serious? Yeah. You I'm being dead serious. Okay. Would you mind? No. All right. No. Well, that's a great guy. Yeah. He's a great guy, and Robin said he's a little inflexible. Yeah. Robin, if someone said to you, hey, I've seen, I told him months ago, I saw, and it's true, he did call me, and he said, would you go see it? And I said, yes, just so I get him in here, and I could tell him no, but, well, but at the same point, I'm feeling a little bad because he called me on. I don't the, really, you know what I really think of this whole thing? I don't think there's a movie he's going to see. I don't think anything. He just mm. did this. I don't even think he wants to see the no. movie. He's seen that movie already. He had to have. He right. had to have. Right. And he went with one of his little friends. Out in Los Angeles. Right, of course. Probably was at the premiere. He's ridiculous. I think he lives for the fact that he leaves and we can't figure out what the hell happened. I know. <laughs> he really likes you, Gary. He's a good guy. I like him back. I know. In a friend kind of way. Tell him that. He knows. Really? Yeah. He called me Thursday night because he just he asked me, you know, are we still on for the movie? So I just said, yeah, because, you know. Right. I was movie, my movie, you mean right for your movie. Said, yeah. You know, you guys still on, and I told him that you were. All right, tell, call him up. I'll tell him I'll go to that stupid movie. I hate that movie. So well, bad. you should never say yes. You're right. No, but I told him no when he was here originally. You just wanted to listen. I know, because then he made it an ultimatum as well. Right. 
So who the hell wants to go with him to see Prince of Tines? It's the worst. If you're a guy, it's the worst thing you could ever sit through. That was weird. That Very. Whole, yeah, it really was. It's exhausting. But you understand. I mean, what's the big deal? You say to a guy, hey, I saw the movie already. I'll go to the stupid movie. Uh, Let me off the hook. Well, he's not. He's no. never maintained during commercials like that. No. He was mad. <laughs> he was kind of... So, Gary, what, I mean, what, what, what do you advise here, Robin? Should I go? I don't know if he's going. I don't think he even wants to go. If, he, if I really felt he was sincere, I would go. I don't think he cares. Well, I felt he was sincere about wanting to go with you. But I don't know what's going to happen now. Yeah. I love him as a guest. Oh, well, that's what his problem is. He wants you to love him as a person. Right. Not a guest. I guess. I guess. <laughs> it's too bad. We create magic together. Ah, uh, he'll be back, won't he? I hope so. But you know I got to do the TV meeting. Well, every year you guys wind up in some kind of a situation where right. someone has to intercede to get you talking again. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't think I was being that mean, though. That was weird. Well, he doesn't have much of a sense of humor. No. <laughs> but he does, you know. It's weird. It's <laughs> He does and he doesn't. Richard Simmons, everybody.